Hi guys, we are from group 5. So today we are doing experiment number 16, which is about heat transfer in agitated reactor. So for this experiment, um, there are actually three sub-experiments. The first part is uh, heating uh, water inside the heating cold water inside the reactor using heating jacket. The second part of the experiment is cooling down the hot water inside the vessel using cooling coil. And the third part is of the experiment is we see how different speed of the rotation affect the cool the heating time. Okay, so now uh, I'm going to explain the setup of the apparatus. So this one you can see this is cold water tank. Uh, it's T1 and this one is uh, hot water tank. It's T2. So this one uh, is, is, uh, this is the reactor which contains uh, a vessel, a uh, jacket, and also coil. And this one is the stirrer speed, which uh, control the uh, RPM. And this one is the temperature indicator, uh, which a uh, different thermometer pump. So you can see here, T1, T2, T3, and T3, T6, and how it's uh, going to work. So this one is the flow meter for the hot water and this one is to control the flow rate of the hot water and same goes to the FT1 but FT1 is for cold water and this one is the valve that actually control the measure of the uh, flow meter and we set it at 1.5 LPM. For the first part of the experiment, we are going to heat cold water inside the vessel. So, firstly, we have to drain whatever fluid inside the vessel and the jacket. Now, we close both of the vessel and the jacket. Okay, before uh, we fill in the vessel with cold water, make sure that the flow to, to the cooling coil is closed and the flow to the vessel is open. Next, we switch on the pump for the cold water, like so. Then, we will slowly fill in the vessel with cold water. So, we will fill in the wet water in the vessel until uh, the water here pour out of this uh, tube. Now, we close the valve, switch off the pump, and okay, before we heating the cold water, don't forget to switch on the stirrer and to increase it to your desired rotation per minute. To heat up the cold water uh, by filling up the jacket using hot water, make sure that all the valves are in proper uh, position and then switch on the pump. And now we slowly open and adjust the flow rate until our desired flow rate which is 1.5. Once we reach 1.5, we will start our stopwatch. Now it is nearing two minutes, our first two minutes interval. So we will check the TT1, TT2, and TT4. We will now repeat taking the reading for every two minutes until TT1 is stable. Now we have come to the end of the first experiment where we have heated the water mm. up to a certain temperature and now we will use the hot water to let it cool down for the second experiment. So now we have to close the flow meter and also pump two. Before we start the second experiment, we have to drain the water from the jacket. Now we have to readjust the positioning of the valves 
You have to close this valve and open this valve. Now we have to switch on pump one. And now we have to open the flow rate to to one point four, and once it reaches one point four, we start the timer. Similarly, like the first experiment, every two minutes interval, we have to check the temperature of TT1, TT3, and TT5. For the third experiment, we repeat the first experiment, but we change the speed of the stirrer to 250 rotation per minute. Okay, so that's all from us. Thank you.